up here. Okie dokie. Uh, look at this cat. I can't even see it. It's like a where's, where's Waldo. Oh, I thought that was a, like a pillow or something. I don't know. Arms all flung out. Sound asleep. Nice. Typical cat. All right, I'm ready to hit record whenever you are. Okay, I'm almost ready. I'm going to actually pull up the outline this time. I think we've been staying on course pretty well without it. Have we? Yeah, okay, fine. Fuck it. Well, I'm, You're right. I'm not, nope. I, no, nope, I want it's you gone. To it I it's want gone. you to I want to have it. Nope, it's gone. <laughs> I just closed it again. It's gone forever. Fine. Delete it. <laughs> No, I didn't delete it now. That's, that's going a bit too far. I just closed the application. All right, I'm I'm ready to hit record. All right. Three, two, one, record. Testing, 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 testing. All right. Testing. Testing. Okay. I'm good to go. I am too. Bring us in. Hey, Justin. What's up, man? Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you meowing? <laughs> yeah. I'm a cat yeah. driving a race car. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're talking What's about up? Rad Racer 2 today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're two dudes in an S. Hello. That's right. That's two twice. dudes That's twice. I've, I've mentioned our name and the game we're playing within the first 30 seconds. Boom. We're improving on this yeah. process. Oh, yeah. We've only been doing this for three and a half years, I think. Right, right. There's a first time for everything. That's right. And know what they say? That's right. You know, so last night, President Trump gave his speech to Joint Congress, but he didn't mention the Genesis gems like he tweeted about. I know. What's up with that? Uh, like, I figured. You know, sometimes he just tweets things while he's on the pot and... Uh, yeah. Just didn't even think about him the next day. So he he probably here's here's what I think happened. He was listening to dudes, right? As most presidents do. Right, right. Obama listened to us. He called me the other day yeah. and said, "Yeah, uh, told me he still does, even though he's not president." Right. And he heard us probably mention Genesis Jim, you know. Mm-hmm. So he's like, well, "Let's see what that is." And he was listening to it, and that's what he tweeted. Yeah, probably, probably so. Yeah. And for anybody who doesn't know about uh, old Trump's tweets, because I think he deleted it shortly after. Yeah. I wrote, right after it got about 35,000 retweets, he deleted it. <laughs> That's right. Um, and then now, so now it's gone forever. But mm-hmm. if you want to see it, you have to go to the Genesis Gems um, Facebook Please. group yeah. or be an honorary dude and you <clears> see it. Which we've got a, we got a pretty good amount. Yeah, we got a lot. We got quite a few honorary dudes out there floating around. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, Rad Racer Part D. Yeah, the sequel. You, you remember when movies used to do that? Like throw in the words "the sequel" after like a title. Name four. I don't. I can't do that. <laughs> well, then, then ne- never happened. I feel like that used to happen a lot. Okay. I don't believe you. Wait a minute. Today's March the 1st, by the way. I'm trying to get some tangents in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, we got plenty, we're going to have plenty of time for tangents. Yeah. This, this, game's this game's not, not very, very deep. <laughs> not a lot to it. But uh, it's March 1st. Guess what happens in a couple of days? Nintendo Switch. Yep. That's right. It's supposed to be coming in the mail for me. So is it going to be there on the 3rd? Yeah, it's supposed to. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, You're relying on Amazon. Who did you order it from? Amazon? or what Best did you do? Buy. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And I wanted it on Friday, and I was afraid I wouldn't have time to actually go to a Best Buy on Friday. And Best Buy said that they would deliver it on Friday. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Got my fingers crossed. If you're listening to this, um, I will already have it one way or another. <laughs> 
whether or not I actually got it on Friday, uh, you have to stay tuned for next episode because I don't know. Yeah. It's exciting times. But the weekend uh, is definitely slammed. The huh? The band The Weekend? Uh, no. Oh. No, the actual weekend. Okay. Uh, is definitely slated for Zelda, Zelda, and more Zelda. So I've got I've got I've got to play well, and I need to fix my lawnmower. But other than that, it's all Zelda. Speaking of lawnmower, it's like well, it's not February anymore; it's March. But like, I really need to mow my yard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like growing. What's up with that? Yeah, well, it's I, and wacky weather. Wacky weather. Yeah, lots of rain and warmth. That's weird. But here, here. I, I haven't confirmed this. I haven't gone back through the weather records to confirm this. But here in East Tennessee, uh, we had a unusually warm February in 1993. Yep. And you know what happened in April of 1993? Well, uh, I'm pretty sure we had a blizzard. We had a blizzard. And some tornadoes. And a tornado. That's <laughs> And yeah, so. one other thing happened shortly after that. My bro was born. And Michael Jordan won another ring, his third ring. Mm. So it's a good year, I guess, for some people. Yeah. Well. Mother Nature got a win that year. Ma- <laughs> yeah, Mother Nature got a win. I don't know if the people <laughs> got a win on that one. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, you know, what are you going to do? So you're you're predicting a blizzard then this year? Well, yeah. And, and there's a guy. The reason I'm asking if you specifically are predicting a blizzard because there's a guy at work also predicting a blizzard. Just yeah. So you know, you're not alone. I'm, should I go on record and say I'm calling it? Might as well. I mean, well, you're on record just by being on a podcast right now. So I did call it. I did call something just today and was correct. Okay, so, uh, so. The hospital that I'm I'm working at right now, it's in Sweetwater, which is in Monroe County. And Monroe County schools let out school early today, right? Like mm-hmm. 11.30, because the potential that we were going to have severe thunderstorms. Well, I was like, this is East Tennessee. You cannot predict severe thunderstorms like that. No. That's, that's asinine. And I was like, I guarantee you. 1230 when they say these storms are going to hit I'm calling I said this in the morning I said the sun's going to be shining guess what the it sun was not, shining yeah. at 1230 <laughs> it may not be shining the rest of the day yeah but at 1230 and, and we got sun. some heavy rain but it didn't end up being much of anything yeah thank goodness too oh yeah yeah but it's, I was I was nervous all day and I'm probably going to jinx myself right now but maybe I won't because maybe I won't jinx myself until the podcast releases, but I have a test. Like I work in a soils lab, right? So I have a test that's running. It's like a fifteen day test, and it's hooked up to electricity. Mm-hmm. And I just knew that today the power, power was going to go out. And I've got it on. I've got it hooked up to battery backup, so it'll last for like three hours without the power. But I just knew like a tornado was just going to like wipe out the power grid. <laughs> <laughs> wipe out the building. Then it gets really doesn't well, matter. But yeah, again. You know, well, we'd have an excuse then, but so, anyways, it could still happen, I guess. But maybe I won't jinx myself to the podcast releases, and the test will be done. Yep, maybe, maybe. Oh. So, you want to talk about uh, Rad Racer Two? Sure. It was a Patreon request by none other than Dude Greg. All right. Who is a secret fan? Well, I guess he's not so secret. Anymore, at least. Secret fan of this game. Secret fan of this game? Yeah, well, he's not a secret fan. I just said that. He's not really... I mean, he's he's a pretty public vocal fan of this game. Are we talking about Greg Polander? Yep. Okay. Just, that's what I thought, but I just want to confirm that. Not that that has any bearing <laughs> on what I'm going to do with this show. <laughs> <laughs> well... Maybe I should have told you that before we went off on 10 minutes worth of tangents before actually starting the show. It's a, uh, is it Greg Polander? Because if it's Greg Polander, I've got a totally different direction I'm going to go on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
if it's Greg yeah. Polander, then it's time to dial it in. Otherwise, yeah. uh, you know, just whatever. <laughs> Willy nilly. Yeah. Uh, all right. How about some history? Yes, please. All right. So Red Racer 2 was a sequel that was brought only to North America by the developer, none other than Square. And Square, you know, I, I, I don't think Square really ever made any other good games, did they? No, I think they actually went defunct shortly after this one. Yeah, I mean, it... Uh, no. Something called Final Fantasy. I don't know what that's called. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know either. They've only made like 15 of them. <laughs> so, yeah, so Square was the company that brought Final Fantasy, but this is... And uh, they also brought Rad Racer, which was released in 1987. And then this was the follow-up sequel, like I said, only released in North America um, in 1990. The game had differences from the um, uh, original version. In the original version, you could cho choose between two cars. This game, you don't get to choose. You only get to choose one car. But you still get to choose your music. So, get one thing, right? Yeah, I, and I'll go ahead. Sorry, and I'll go ahead and mention something about that. For the longest time, I could not figure out how to change this, this music. Yeah, we, we, we may get into it again here a little bit later, but uh, playing this game, I could not figure out how to change the music. <laughs> so in the game, they they really held up to its uh, um, to the to the original game as far as kind of stylistically. But in reception, it was not as well received. They thought it was there was a lot of uh, feelings that the gameplay was a little inferior as far as what the reviewers said about it. Not my opinion. Not my opinion. Your their words, not mine. Uh, who did, who was it? Uh, I'm well, not uh, just just give me the list privately, and I'll take care of it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, but the owner of Square, who was, uh, let's see, Masafumi Miyamoto. <gasps> Miyamoto. Miyamoto. Must be a cousin. Maybe. I don't know how Japanese names work. Is that their first name? It may be. First Sometimes. name may be second. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, you, you work on that. I'll look up how Japanese names work while you're, uh finishing up some history here yeah okay and he wanted the original rad racer was supposed to uh demonstrate their 3d programming skills and this game uh was brought uh, in to uh show similar abilities in their 3d skills but uh that's about it as far as the history goes. Uh, Red Race, Rad Racer, the original, was very popular amongst uh, video gamers. This one didn't get as well received. Um, but I'm sure it has a great cult following. With people like Greg out there. And Mike, did you have this cart? Did you find this cart? Um, I did not have this cart growing up. I never even played this game until we did the show here. I had played the original Rad Racer uh, a long time ago, but uh, Rad Racer 2, never had it, never um, never even played it until this show, and uh, I basically just bought this one on eBay. Um, hold on just one second. Got a steal on it, got it for a steal. Yeah. The, I bought it for four ninety nine on eBay, and sweet. when I got it and opened it up, looked at the back, eight dollars says on the on the little sticker on the back. Yes. Totally got a steal. Three but save three dollars on this. Save guy. money already. Yep, save three dollars on this guy right here. Yeah. Well, that's a great story. Uh, yeah, I tell you, but uh, this will turn into what we'll get into later: our giveaway. I'm not going to keep it for myself. I'm going to give it away to one lucky listener later in the show. Don't let me forget. So this quality game, you're not uh, you're not going to keep for yourself? Well, I mean, I, I, kind of, I used the Patreon money to buy it, so I figured I better give it out yeah. instead of keeping it for myself. Yeah. That wouldn't be right for me to 
use that Patreon money to keep the game. Yeah. Also, maybe when we get into the game discussion, I may or may not have wanted to keep it anyways. You know what this game reminded me of when I first started playing it for the show? Do you remember, and I think they may even still make them, I don't know, but when we were like little kids, do you remember those little, like, they they came with like a screen and a little uh, steering wheel? And basically it was like you were driving this car and it was just a rolling oh, yeah. thing that came the- back, came over and over again. But it looked like you were driving. Yeah, I remember, remember those things. Thing? Yeah. For some reason, this game just reminded me of that as soon as I started playing it. <clears throat> I could see that, sort of. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. the way, I, time to get into the game discussion, by the way. Oh, and surnames. Uh, Japanese surnames. It's the surname first and given name second. So, yeah, so, so Miyamoto is given. Yeah, Miyamoto would be the given name. Yeah. According to Yahoo. Well, Yahoo doesn't lie, do no. they? Nope. They don't lie, but they get, they just lose your information all the time to hackers. <laughs> it's happened and to I, them like four times. And I don't understand that because... So I have a Yahoo email account, which I rarely use, right? Mm-hmm. You know, pretty much anything official business-wise or podcast-related or, you know, work-related, I use either Gmail or Outlook, right? I've got two different accounts. On that. Okay. Okay. But I have this Yahoo account, and Yahoo, my Yahoo account, I kind of call it my junk email account. Like, if I'm mm-hmm. signing up for something, and I don't, you know, they're going to send me emails. I don't want to see these emails. Send oh, yeah. It to Yahoo. Oh, yeah. We all got one of those. Yeah. <laughs> send it to my Yahoo email. Well, but my Yahoo email is, like, how I sign into, like, Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. So every now and then, they have to confirm my email. So I have to sign on to Yahoo. And every single time I have, they're like, they want me to change my password. And they're being like real big sticklers about like, they won't let you into your email until you change your password. And maybe it's because they've got so many security breaches, but God, it's so annoying. Yeah, I can't stay. I just deleted mine. I, that was what I used my Ymail uh, for, which straight copy of Gmail, right? I mean, pfft. Yeah. Come on, well, Yahoo. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Anyways, but I, that's what I use my Ymail for. The same thing as you. Mm-hmm. And after about the fourth security breach and the 17 millionth time I had to change my password, I just said, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's so, really taken. And then purpose. there's no telling how many hoops I had to jump through to get it deleted. And I still don't know if it's actually deleted. I just yeah. don't ever log into it anymore. That's like AOL back in the day. AOL was like impossible to, to get rid of. Like literally impossible. Yeah. My dad, I'm not. This is not a lie. He actually had to cancel his credit card that AOL was charged <laughs> to get them to stop. <laughs> he, he had to cancel the actual credit card. He couldn't. Just I think he. Them. I think he just got a new card, but he had to like get a new card because they would not <laughs> stop charging him. And we would call them and call them and call them. And finally, it was just like, forget it. Keep that card number. Keep trying to charge it. I'm getting a new card. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I've had AOL to, might still be charging that card. I don't know. <laughs> it keeps getting denied. Yeah, I can't remember what it was, but one time I think it was like something stupid, like uh, you know, how sometimes you'll get these, uh, you like sign up for like a reoccurring, I don't know, it's like a supplement or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's kind of a sketchy thing. Yeah, it's not like steroids or anything, but you know what I mean. It's like a yeah. I know but what anyways, about. I think I had something like that. It was like a who knows what it was, like a creatine or something i don't know just for Mm -hmm. just for giggles but i signed up for that one time and the same thing happened to me they would just would not stop charge me and i'd call them (laughs) and i'd email them i'd do all this stuff like stop i'm done i don't want anymore and they would still they keep sending it to me and keep charging for it i was like i don't want it anymore so finally i ended up having i called my credit card company and said do not let these people charge me anymore i've I've I explained the situation. I was like, I look, I've tried to cancel this like 10 times and they just keep charging me and sending it to me. I said, don't let them charge me anymore. And the car company will actually, I think it was discover discover will block people from charging the card. Um, if you ask them nicely under the right circumstances. Yeah. So, Speaking of scams, I got one more scam story. One more scam. Then we got to talk about the game. All right. So, you know, Chili's, right? Chili's great food. I like Chili's. 
Mm-hmm. You know, good I, restaurant. I do like Chili's. But they've got these little tablets on the tables now. Oh, don't even get me started on those. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, so, I, I may need a Patreon episode to talk about this because I don't know if I can, be, can contain myself. <laughs> so, you know, we just like, okay, Leah, yeah, you know, just mess around on that. Surely she can't buy anything, right? No, no. <laughs> yeah. Freely allowed to buy anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just They just put it on your check. No big deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> oh, I was so mad. So I, the first time I ever experienced one of those things, um, mm-hmm. it was like, you know, they set them on the table and they have them facing you, right? And there's things. Well, I was like, mm-hmm. I don't like seeing this screen. So I, I kept turning it around, facing away from me. And every time the waiter would come by, he'd just be he'd like, here, have a refill of water. Here, you guys need anything? Need some more chips? And then while he was there, he just turned it back around and faced <laughs> me. <laughs> so eventually I was like, I wonder if I can turn this thing off. So I started like hitting things on the screen to try to get the screen to turn off. Mm-hmm. And to get the thing to stop because it scrolls through these games and it keeps trying to advertise things to you. And yeah. So I was trying to turn it off and we get the bill at the end of the night. It's like, you played a game. One ninety nine. I was like, what? No. Right. I would, <laughs> I was yeah. like, there are so many times I tried to get this thing to be not in my peripheral. Right. Oh, yeah. And you kept turning it around on me. And then I ended up getting charged the game because I was trying to turn the screen off. Yeah. Oh, I hate those things. God. Yeah. Oh, it makes me so mad. So I do turn them around every time now. And if the guy comes back, if he turns it back around or the girl or whoever the wait, waiter is, uh, I say, look, I don't want that face of me. Yeah. So you either take it off the table, which would be my number one preference, or you let me face it away. Yeah. So anyways, hey, Chili's, did I, I surely, I told you the Tyler story, right? Yeah, the Tyler okay. story. Best, yeah, great story. <laughs> That's where that happened. If you yeah. want to hear the Tyler story, I don't know what episode it's on, but. I think it's a Patreon episode. Is it? Oh, that's I don't sad. know. That's sad. I don't know. It Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. I think it was before we did Patreon. Okay. Anyway, somebody hit the backlog and let me know what episode that's on, because that's one of my favorite yeah. Chili stories ever. Yeah, that story's great. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Rad Racer Red, 2. Rad Racer. And every time I say Rad Racer, I'm, I like I say Red Racer first. Yeah, you've, you've, yeah, I've not even said anything about it. Well, your car in the game is red. It's true. So... Uh, and what? man, is that thing fast. 260 <laughs> miles an hour? <laughs> Where, what kind, what, it looks kind of like, a, like an older Ferrari. Yeah. I've never I, driven an older Ferrari, but I'm pretty sure they don't go 260 miles an hour. Well, here's the thing. It's not just 255 miles per hour that you're driving. It is immediately going 250 <laughs> miles per hour. Like you're not. There's no like long acceleration at all. It's just boom. Well, you know, it's like I said, it's a Ferrari. They're pretty fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, not only that, but it's immediate acceleration to almost 260 miles per hour, and mm-hmm. then you're taking turns at 260 <laughs> miles per hour with little repercussions. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's it's handling these turns easily. And you're like bumping into other cars and stuff. <laughs> I'm fairly certain if you hit a rock going 260 <laughs> miles per hour, you would flip multiple times. There's a reason why they do those on like the salt flats out in Utah when they go that fast. Right. It's right. Because there's nothing out there. <laughs> there's not even a wind. That I mean, I'm pretty sure like a small gust of wind at 260 miles an hour and you're flipping, flipping down the highway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. But... So you, you start this game and you, you don't get to choose your car. You get you get the Ferrari. Right. Mm-hmm. Which is probably start, the car I would have picked anyway. It's a nice red Ferrari. It's pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet car, yeah. Yeah. You start out in uh you know, Key West. Checking it out. You yep. Know. And the song choice at the bottom says Sing Yourself. <laughs> yeah. I just assumed that that was the name of the song, maybe. Because it says no. it says song or music. And it's right. sing yourself. So I started the game, and there's no music. There's no, you just, you have to sing yourself. <laughs> yeah, you actually have to sing yourself. Okay, so I figured that out. Yeah. So you started singing. It's, yep, I did. I think I sang, uh, let's see, I've sang a few different tunes. I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> yep, yep, that was definitely one of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're going to 60 months <laughs> Um, also, I think it's saying a little bit of the Top Gun theme in my head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. 
That is a, that song does fit this game pretty well, especially the first level. You're like on the beach, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. highway to the danger zone. Just yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, I finally figured out that if you press select at that screen, you can actually change the song. There's two other songs. Right. Are there more than two other songs? There's just two other because I only knew I only saw two. There's only two other songs, and one of is like Gumball. Uh, hold on, let me look it up real quick. One of them I did not like at all. One of them's so, like really slow and not very. Uh, but one of them I did really like, and it really got me pumped up to race. Yeah. So the, there's. Uh, Can't remember shoot. which one's which. Yeah. Great pod here, looking yeah. up the, <laughs> the the songs. I can't remember the song names, but I I've got them ranked somewhere around in here. Here we go. So Coast to Coast, which is uh, like that's the laid that's the laid back tune. That's the one you don't want, right? You okay. want Gumball Crash. Gumball Crash. Yeah. Okay. That's I wish the I wish I had a soundboard and I can just play those songs for people. Actually, yeah, I may be able to figure it out, but that would require um, breaking this. Uh, podcast flow that we got going here yeah so i probably won't do that yeah. i don't know though. i mean i could do i do it all the time you know i just i do it with the call phone calls which i've got some calls for later in the show i just pull it on my phone i hold the phone up to the microphone like a total let's try this hold on a second. Loser. Let's, let's try this don't say anything for a second okay hold on wait wait for it to get started that's too quiet isn't it? you told me not to say anything all right. Oh, I can talk now. I didn't hear a word. I didn't hear anything. Oh, okay. I tried to play the song just through my computer speakers, but I got this. I got I think this. It's too quiet. I got this. Don't worry. I'm not no. worried. You, okay, good. Because you look just a tad worried. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Okay. Here we go. This is Gumball Crash. See, see the yeah. beat. Yeah, this is the, the one. Beat I, I like this one. This is the one I like. Right? Yeah, gotta get it going. This gets this gets the juices flowing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now here's the other one. This is oh, hold on. now. All right. So that's the one that I was racing. I don't even think I dropped below two two forty two miles per hour the whole time yeah. while that okay. song was playing. Turns, mm-hmm. other cars, nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, now here's the other one. Coast to coast. All right. Let's see if you notice a little bit of a difference. It has promise. It does that little like yeah. right there at the beginning, and yeah. you think it's about to just pick up. No. See th- that that was my problem with that song, right? Like I, I I didn't like it. Didn't like it. Didn't like. Now let me before I keep saying I don't like it. Do not like it for a racing game. Okay. Yeah. If this was a game where I was playing beach Swimming. volleyball or something. Yeah. Then I could see you know. It's got promise, but here's in a racing game. It started off. I was like, "Oh man, this is kind of too mellow." And then it started doing the little doo 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 thing. I was like, "Here we go, here right. we go, here we go." And then it just calms right back down. You guys are right back down. Yeah. So I don't know. What are you gonna do? You know. I don't know, but I I, I agree. Really, Gumball Crash just needs to be played the entire time. Yeah. Now I do wonder if later in the game. If you get more songs, because I only made it to like the third level, maybe the fourth. Uh, no, you don't. You don't. Okay, All right. That's just a, that's, there's two songs. There's eight levels, and that's kind of you know I think one of the drawbacks of this game is it's not a whole lot to it. Yeah. You know, not a whole lot of like goals that you're really trying to reach here. You're just trying to... Well, I guess the, here's the premise of the game. If you played Rad Racer 1, it's it's very similar. Mm-hmm. You're racing down the track. You have a time limit to hit certain checkpoints. If you don't make it to the checkpoint by the time limit, I guess you run out of gas. That's kind of what it feels like. Your car just stops. 
So you want to try to make it to the checkpoint. You make it to the checkpoint, you get more time added to it until finally you can make it to the finish. You want to get there as quickly as possible. Hell, hello, it's a racing game, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it is somewhat difficult. I found it somewhat difficult because basically if you hit other cars or wreck at all, you're not going to mm. make it to the finish line. Right, you're going to spin out. Even on the early levels, uh, if you don't basically dodge all the cars and do the turns perfectly, then you're you're screwed. You're not going to make it to the finish. What, you got a problem making a turn at 260 miles per hour? I do. I got a big problem with that. No, so, it, it actually wasn't the turns for the most part for me. For me, it's the other cars on the road. Because sometimes those other cars would fill up the entire road in front of you. Uh-huh. And I think it, it, I'm pretty sure it's random the way that the cars appear on the road. I don't think it's planned because every time I played, it seemed like it was different. So, yeah. But um, they definitely, on occasion, will f- flood the entire road and you either have to slow mm-hmm. down or run into them. And that's, that's kind of frustrating. No bueno. I do have the manual, actually. I'm ready. I'm excited. Okay. Uh, there's a few things here. Let me just start here with... Did you hear that? What? Okay, good. <laughs> my computer just did a notification. It was really loud in my ear. I just want to make sure no, you didn't hear it. No, no, didn't ho- hear. Hopefully nobody else heard it. Um, I guess we will see. Sorry to the listeners if they did. I didn't hear it, so I think we're good. Okay, all right, sweet. Uh, all right, so Turbo Boost Ignition. From a stock <laughs> position, in parentheses, zero miles per hour, Press down on the control pad. The turbo boost power gauge on the bottom of the dashboard will light up starting from the bottom of the meter. When the light reaches the top of the meter, press the A button to send your Rad Racer 2 into an immediate power start at over 250 miles an hour. Yeah. So that's what you're talking about, the turbo boost at the beginning. If you do that, then you go from 0 to 250 in like less than a second. And that's kind of the trick to starting the game. Yeah. Um, and if you look, we are definitely correct. Uh, I'm going to show this to you. This is definitely a Ferrari, don't you think? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a Ferrari all the way. That's the, that's the Ferrari. Red symbol. car with the yellow symbol. It doesn't have the horsey on it. but uh, You remember like back in the day when, yeah, like nowadays... Companies just let you use their symbols because it's free advertising. They figured out that it's free advertising. Yeah. But back in the day, you couldn't do that. So people weren't drinking Coke. They were drinking. It looked like a Coke can, but it was like it said soda on it or something, you know? Yeah. Well, it's funny. It goes from back in the day, they didn't do it to a point where they let anybody do it for free advertising. And now it's all licensing or... Or it's either licensing or the the company pays the whoever it is to put their product in there. Yeah. So now it's all, everybody wants money for everything. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Can you blame them? I, I wouldn't bl- I wouldn't dare blame them. I guess you could blame them. Nope. I can't. It's not in my, it's not, it's not in my being. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, so uh, there are eight races. In the mm-hmm. game. I made it to Las Vegas. How far did you make it? Uh, Gettysburg. Hey, man, Las Vegas, that's like five, stage five. Yeah, you made it to Gettysburg? Gettysburg's like the third stage, yeah, right? I'm sorry, that's sad. <laughs> you, you sounded surprised. Yeah. Well, like I guess I, for some reason I thought uh, Gettysburg was uh, this was the mountain one, but it's that's that was just called Rocky Mountains. Yeah, so you get to which you're you're kind of making this kind of weird movement around the country. So you go from Key West to New York, mm-hmm. the Big Apple, right? To Gettysburg, which I don't know how many races people do in gettysburg doesn't really yeah, seem like the race capital of the world <laughs> can't imagine a lot yeah to monument valley which i don't really know where monument valley is supposed to be but it looks western 
right? Yeah. Well, is that where the um, president's thing is? Is that Monument Valley? Maybe. I'm not 100%. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. I'll move on to Las Ve- Viva Las Vegas would be your next stage. And uh, Las Vegas is basically the same as the New York level, but with orange lights instead of blue lights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and a Ferris wheel. Yeah, and a Ferris there, wheel. There's a Ferris wheel. Okay, Monument Valley is in Utah. Okay. It's not the president's. So pretty close to Las Vegas, though. So they are kind of following a, a sort They're, of a path, you know? Yeah, but then you go to the Rocky Mountains, <laughs> right. which is back east. Then back west to California, and then I guess north. I'm, I'm going to assume this is Southern California. It's Twilight California. I guess I don't and know. Then back north to San Francisco. Yeah. Now I, you know, I'll give it. I'll give this game credit. I don't really remember Rad Racer One. I haven't played it in a long time, but I have a feeling this this game has much more varied stages. Because with with the exception of the Big Apple and Las Vegas being fairly similar all these levels are pretty much wildly different and i think that's pretty cool yeah i didn't yeah. get to play them all but uh yeah i mean you've got yeah they're they're very different but uh again you know the race i get that you're racing it's it's really just time trials right basically time trials but it, it has racer in the name of the game. Yeah. You're not racing anybody. Well, I guess you are. I don't know. Are you racing those other cars on the road, or are, you just, or are they just if, people if, driving if on the they're, road? If they're racing, somebody needs to tell them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, they, they're just driving normal cars that go like a 220 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> they're not driving the 260. Right, yeah. That's true. That's true. They're just driving like Lamborghinis and yeah, yeah, you know, Audis and stuff. They're not driving this. They're not driving whatever kind of car this is. Super right. Ferrari. Yeah. Which you know, Rad Racer One had a Formula One car as one of the cars that you could drive. Now oh, I could really? believe that. Okay. Like, you know, well, the, the, they don't really even go that fast. What are they going, like 220? What's their top speed? Like 220, 230? They're definitely in the 200s. Yeah. I don't know how fast they go, though. But, anyway. Yeah, so I don't know. 260 is awful fast for a race car. <laughs> yeah. Like, when I saw that driving, and when I first started playing the game, I was like, holy <laughs> moly, that's that's ridiculous. Why would they even do that? Why? Unless, here's my here's my thought. I'm not very good with my conversions on kilometers versus miles per hour, but it's almost like they so that they didn't have to reanimate all the numbers changing down there. Mm-hmm. They just went just straight up, just changed that MP, that kilometers to miles per hour and didn't mess with what happened to the numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah, that could and be may, right. And maybe maybe the the Japanese creators of this game. We're just not familiar with miles per hour, and they're like, it's probably about the same, right? Yeah, the fastest car um, is the Bugatti Veyron, which is like a V twelve, V sixteen, yeah. something ridiculous like that, and it does go two hundred sixty eight miles per hour. Okay, it does have a top speed of two sixty. I don't know how fu- how long it takes to get to that top speed. <laughs> it probably takes a long time, but yeah, with no curves. Yeah, no curves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that's the fastest production car in the Genesis Book of Records. Yeah. So, there you go. So, there you go. So, th- I guess if you're driving the Bugatti, then this game's pretty accurate. So, a Formula One car... Three three hundred seventy five kilometers per hour, which is two hundred thirty three miles per hour, is kind of their top top speed. And they could take turns really fast too. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that V sixteen Bugatti or whatever it is <laughs> is not going to be turning. Yeah, no. Mm, yeah, actually, there's funny funny story. Crabman was telling you know he's a car guy. I don't know much mm-hmm. about the cars, but he was telling me about this Bugatti. Um, he's telling me about 
so I can't remember. I'm going to I'm going to butcher this. So there's some car person out there is going to one of you guys out there that is into cars is going to ride into the show and be mad at me. But anyway, tell Crab Man right now. I could, but I'm afraid he's I'm he's afraid. probably asleep. Yeah, or his wake him up. If nothing else, his kids asleep or something. So I don't I don't want to do that. I uh, know. Yeah. Anyways, but he was telling me that in order for the car to get to that top speed, two things happen. One, it runs out of gas. And two, <laughs> it, the, the tires get blown out. So there like, you go. Yes, it can go 268, but in order to get to that top speed, you burn up all the fuel, and your tires more likely are going to be blown out. Yeah. So. Well, that's like when... Uh, that reminds me of the story. So, uh, I was reading... Um, so, Crabman's car guy. I'm a plane guy. I like... You know, oh, yeah. jets and oh, like yeah. look at this is the first I, I'm I, hearing of this. I don't drive planes, <laughs> but like I'm really interested in like, um, like Skunk Works, all the like top secret projects that were, uh, for these like supersonic jets. Why didn't we and find I, out about what, this in the Top Gun episode? Well, I don't think we talked about top speeds. Oh, okay, in Top Gun, did we? We should have. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead. But there was this unmanned, of course, basically missile. It, it, it was it was a it was kind of like a drone, and it had to. Uh, it was going to be. I think what is supersonic speed is like it's like ludicrous speed. You know, mm-hmm. like on space balls, it's ludicrous speed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was going to be like their first vehicle to go supersonic and they were testing it out and they've not become successful i think it was called the x1 and it was actually launched from a b-52 okay so the big b-52s you know and they would have this thing on it and the b-52 would essentially get to its top speed and then this thing would launch from so it it's basically a missile yeah uh but it's man like it's a drone that they could control okay but it's just going really fast Gotcha. Uh, but it, and like when they took that thing up, just exploded. Like, <laughs> like it tried to like go that fast. It just busted up into tons of pieces. Nice. So, so it's now not, they it's may not have, controlled. Huh? So it's not actually controlled. Not, not controlled when it's busting up. They may have it now. If they have it now, then, you know, it's not public record. But the original tests of that vehicle, they're. The X one is not is is no longer. They might have something now that can do that, but that was not that didn't come to be. Hmm. Okay, so I've got a few tips for this game. All right. In my in my playing, a couple of little tips from a tips from a guy who can't make it past Las Vegas. So take this with a grain of salt. But I would say that um, one is make sure you do the turbo thing. Mm-hmm. Help you get a good start. Two, there's an indicator that tells you what turn's coming up next. Pay attention to that, and then get to the inside lane before the turn hits. Right? Because mm-hmm. you're probably if it's a big turn, it'll push you to the outside. So you want a lot of road to to be mm-hmm. scooted out. You know what I mean? Right. Um. That's really my only tips. That's all I got. What about the? It's not really a tip, but does everybody know how to do like the, the power start, like how you get to go? That's the turbo thing. I said. Well, I guess I don't. We didn't really explain how to do it. You oh. hold. You hold down. I. I think I did. It's in the. It's in the instructions. But you hold down on the D pad, and like rev your engine, basically, mm-hmm. and then when the meter gets gets up, then that's when you go. Okay, here it is. It's not. It was not the X one. It's the D twenty one, and it was supposed to be this ultra uh, speed spy drone. And they were going to launch it, and it never worked. So, to our go. knowledge, that one didn't work. But there may very well be something now that does work. Okay, I hope so because. 
I'd like to think that we've got awesome stuff like that just flying around our heads all the time. I have a picture standing next to one of these D21s because I went to Lockheed's. Um, uh, they have like a museum mm-hmm. in California, and I went to it, and they've got a couple SR-71s, um, a stealth fighter, and one of these sitting there. And you can't get that close to them, but we got a picture taken with it. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. There's a stage select. I just read that there's a stage <laughs> select code in this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep talking about other things and you keep trying to bring me back. That's okay. It just gives me time to read more about this game, read things that I didn't realize, like the mm-hmm. fact that there's a stage select code. And I wanted to try all these levels, but I kept trying to just play through the game. Yeah. And didn't even realize that there's a stage select. That's what I get for not having the manual. But there's, there a, sta- there's a stage select code. It even says so in the manual because I guess they wanted you to be able to play these levels. And uh, I I did not. Uh, This last thing about the manual. um, Again, this booklet is available from the U.S. government printing office. We should just, as an experiment, contact the U.S. government printing office for a manual for one game. We can do that. Free to, uh, we can uh, invoke our Freedom of Information Act rights. (laughs) Yep. <laughs> you get a manual? Yeah. Sounds good to me. How do they, how do they, how will they give that information out? Like know. PDF? I mean, I, I guess. I'd be really curious to find out. Because you know there's a lot of people out there working hard to archive manuals and things and put them online. Mm-hmm. The government's already done it for us. Why are we working so hard? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's probably, it might be on a shelf somewhere. It's probably just on a shelf. And you call, and the librarian's like, I'm not going to the NES section. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's just a big pile in, on the fourth floor. I'm not going. I'm not doing that. Yeah. 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 So that's all I got from the manual. Um, all right. So which one was your favorite stage? I mean, you basically got to go by looks because they all play the same, essentially. They're all pretty similar, yeah. Um, if I'm picking looks, if I'm going aesthetics, Pick about I, didn't, I didn't get to the stage, but it, you know, it's going to be close between Rocky Mountains and Bay Bridge. The Bay Bridge stage is pretty sweet looking. Mm-hmm. Right. I think I would like the Bay Bridge. I, I, again, I'm with you. I didn't make it to that stage, but uh, it looks really cool. Yeah, looks pretty sweet. I like the fact that they show you a map before you race it, too. That's, mm-hmm. pretty, that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's a good segue. Graphics. What do you think about the graphics? Because I'm looking at, the based on the stages I played and looking at the stages' pictures here, um, I'm really kind of impressed by the graphics. I think it looks really good. It's pretty good. Not bad for a 3D game on the NES. I think, um, Yeah. you know... There's a couple that were kind of duds. I think Key West and Gettysburg are kind of duds, aesthetic-wise. Gettysburg is a big dud. I thought yeah. Gettysburg is easily the worst. Yeah. And second to worst, I would say, is Twilight California, because it's just Gettysburg is just a ton of blue, and Twilight California is just a ton of purple. Mm-hmm. There's no contrast, really. Yeah. But I think the rest of them were, were good. I like the night stages. Uh, yeah, Las Vegas but- and the Big Apple. You've got, uh, it's just really pretty cool. I like how, you've never been to Vegas, right? Nope. Okay, so I've been a couple times. And, oh, oh la uh, yeah. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, but, now I'm not going to say it looks just like the, the Vegas night, but, like, the colors that they use on that level, like, is real similar to what it kind of looks like in Vegas, kind of the color schemes that you see in Vegas. So. Yeah. I've never been to New York either, but that would be how I would picture New York, the color scheme of New York being kind of a bluish tint. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think the I think they pretty well nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and we call it a 3D game. I know it's supposed to be a 3D game, but it's... I mean, it's 2D. It's just you're driving from behind the car. It's like an OutRun style mm-hmm. driving instead yeah. of most NES racers, I guess, are top-down, right? Mm-hmm. You think of like RC Pro-Am and stuff? 
Right. This one's from behind, <clears throat> behind the car. Behind the car. All right. Uh, what about the sound and the music? I'm giving the music one thumb up. One thumb up, not one thumb down. Just because uh, Coast to Coast was not really a good song. Yeah, I'll give it one and a half thumbs up because I got a really good laugh out of Sing, Sing Yourself. Yeah, <laughs> that was, that's pretty good. Especially since it tricked me, right? That's pretty good. So I'm going to give it one and a half thumbs up on the music. Uh, the sound, uh, I like the sound. I didn't really like the squelchy noise, but I like the yeah. engine engine noise was cool. It sounded yeah. pretty good. It sounded pretty good. It actually sounded kind of beefy. Yeah, it's beefy. Mmm, <laughs> <Yeah>. beefy. <laughs> That's what I said when I took a bite out of the Grand Mac the other day. Oh yeah, what's that? That sounds delicious. The Grand Mac? You don't know about the Grand Mac? Uh, no. The Grand Mac is a bigger Big Mac. Oh, I've I've been trying to stay away from McDonald's. I I went a little too a little too hard on McDonald's. A little too heavy <laughs> heavy on the McDonald's there for a little while because I've got one almost walking distance from work. So I don't do McDonald's too much. But uh, when you do, but when I do, I do the Grand Mac. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to take my lunch more, trying to be a little healthier. You know. Yeah. I try. <laughs> you say that like you fail most of the time. <laughs> I fail all the time. It's like I'm like, I need to eat right and I need to exercise. How many of those things did I do today? <laughs> None of them. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I try to do the same thing, and uh, today I did both. So, oh, oh, speaking of la dee da. Well, here's, here's, here's the thing. Uh, a, a little tangent for you, okay? I used to run quite frequently uh, mm. out, out so outside through the neighborhood, whatnot, and I kind of got dodging out of, pigs, dodging pigs. I kind of got go to go to Patreon for that story, uh, um, and I kind of got out of it, and I couldn't, I could just could not find the motivation to do it again. Yeah. Well, my Which wife, stuff? yeah, I know. Well, my wife got she wanted a treadmill because she wanted to start walking and stuff. But she she hates being outside in the heat, so she's like, I'll just walk inside. So she got a treadmill like last summer, maybe summer before last or something. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just been sitting there. <laughs> Nobody has been using it. So I said, you know what? We bought this thing. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. So I use it about three times a week now, just because my my main motivation. Yeah, it's to exercise, right? It's to jog or whatever. But my even more motivation is I don't want that to waste of money sitting in there to just yeah. to not be yeah. used. Yeah, so I like it. Most of my motivation just comes from I don't want that to go to waste. So mm-hmm. I I do actually run two or three times a week on the on the treadmill. Yeah. Huh, I gotta. Get, we're gonna start playing tennis. Yeah, I'm game. Yeah, weather. You know, John gets settled in with his new babe. And babe, gets... at, babe being baby, not like new woman. Yeah, yeah, that's true. For, for any, <laughs> I guess for I should anybody. clarify that. <laughs> you better clarify that. <laughs> and uh, you know, weather gets more predictable, predictably warm. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. I like tennis. It's been a long time since I played. I used to, whenever John and I lived together, whether we had tennis courts at our apartment, we played every day. But it's been a long time. It's been like. Eight years, maybe. Yeah, it's been about that long. I've been playing here recently with my daughter. I've been getting her out there and playing. So, which I think she's better than like half the high school. High school. <laughs> but, yeah, that's another story. So. It's another story for another day. This game, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm really sorry, Greg. I feel like we've done a pretty good job covering it, but there's been a lot of tangents. A lot of tangents in between. It. In between. All right. So this game. I, went, I did a high score challenge, right? I posted on Facebook, high score challenge, let's do this. And then I sat, I posted this before I actually played the game. <laughs> I sat down to play the game and I have no idea. Mm. I don't think, I don't think there's a high score. Right? There's no score. Yeah. yeah. I could not find a high score. I could have swore guess, though that Rad Racer, when I played it, there was a score in it. I thought that you got a score after each stage, depending on how quickly you did it and how many cars you got, you hit and all that stuff. In the original Rad Racer, mm. of course I had never played this one, but... Set not really, it, and there's no score. 
not really a score, but I guess you could if you wanted to do time, maybe. Yeah, fastest time or something. Yeah. Oh well, too late now. Nobody, nobody participated because yeah. I, I think they probably were in the same boat as me because I did not clarify how we were going to do high scores. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. All right. We covered the graphics, right? Covered yeah. the sound. Mm-hmm. So now we got to ask ourselves. Is it worth the four ninety nine that you paid for it, or the eight <laughs> that it says on the back? Mm-hmm. I I think so. Yeah, I think so too. It's it's yeah. fun. It's a real. It's a pretty fun game, and I'll probably go back and play it. Of course, I'm giving this one this card away. I may play it in <coughs> do my do my own, but. Yeah. Um, now that I know that there's a stage slick code, I do want to at least, if nothing else, go back and play some of the stages I didn't get to play. Right. So there's that. That'll happen. Right. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's fun. Oh I, yeah, I really do. I think it's yeah. worth, especially since it doesn't cost very much. I think it's definitely worth it. Mhm. Yep. I concur. Sweet. How are we gonna rate this game? Oh, I don't know. How about a fast animal? A fast animal? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with the ostrich. The ostrich? Okay. It's fast. It's cool. But come on, it's a bird that can't fly, so it's it's not perfect. So okay. that's what, yeah. that's what this game is. It's fast, it's cool, but it's not perfect. Okay, all right, I can go with that. Because my dog is currently growling and barking, and I'm afraid she's going to disrupt the podcast, and she's also pretty fast. Uh, I'm going to go with her. So I'm gonna What's give, her deal? What's her deal? Yeah, so she didn't she, even go outside. She, no, she hears something outside. I guess. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. She, I took her out before the podcast. She shouldn't have to go out again. Although she did yeah. not take a dump, she just peed. Sometimes she pees and comes back in, and these go right back out and take a dump. Yeah, you know, you know how that goes. Man, Greg's really loving this for the his Patreon <laughs> pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Teeter's sorry, dump hab- <laughs> Teeter's dump habits. Yeah, that has no bearing <laughs> on. The rating for this game, though, because my dog's fast. Okay, yeah. she is. She's lightning fast. I can't catch her, and so I mm-hmm. think. And she, I love her. She's my dog. You know, so that's actually quite a big, quite a big compliment for this game. That's right. Yeah. So there you go. So there you go. What do you think right. about uh, some trophies? Retro. I could only trophies. really come up with one. I got one. Okay. Yeah. You ready for it? I'm ready. It is 0 to 60. Pfft, try 0 to 260. And that is use the power blast at the very beginning. Okay. All right. That's, uh, that's good. Um, I came up with one called... I didn't. I don't. I don't I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> here's the here's the problem. I'm trying to remember it. Did we? Was this actually in the podcast where you didn't let me pull up my outline, or was that in the yes. pre podcast? Yes. It was pre podcast. I said we okay. don't need this stinking outline because we've done so good without it. Yeah. Well, funny story. That's where I put my trophies. Well, there you go. So I cannot remember either one of them. So give me a minute. And I will remember them. Um, All right. Well, I'll just I'll just make some up right now. Cause, um, Viva Las Vegas is beat the Ve- beat the Vegas level. There you go. There uh-huh. you go. Uh-huh. I'd say Rock- Rocky Mountain High. Yeah, Rocky Mountain High. We could do a, a, thong, a thong seam. A thong <laughs> seam. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's 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 only like eleven thirty at night. Uh, I meant to say a song theme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course, thong themes are good too. 
<laughs> they don't have many scenes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh no. Okay, so we got Viva Las Vegas, uh, and we got Rocky Mountain High. Mm-hmm. Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Greg, I swear that uh, you know, I, I swear that I like this game as, as little as I. Uh... New York Minute for oh uh, okay, or just New York, New York. That's a that's a thong song. <laughs> <laughs> or a thong song trophy. Hum the thong song while <laughs> sing yourself. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Okay, these are all songs that you need to come that you need to sing. That's the, that, yeah. the when you do the sing yourself. So stage yeah. one thong song, obviously. <laughs> right. Uh, stage right. stage two, the Big Apple New is New York, New York, or New York Minute. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, stage three is Gettysburg. Um, A shock and for- farewell. Okay. The song from Get uh, Ken Burns Civil War. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Monument Valley. Um, uh. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. Theme from the Good and Bad and the Ugly. Wow, 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 That's from the Good, Bad and the Ugly. Because I think of the the other song from Good, Bad and the Ugly. Um, the the one that Talica comes out. Yeah, to. yeah, yeah. It's the Sea of Gold. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think of. But the theme is the where the whistle, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the tumbleweed rolls across. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Uh, Las Vegas, Viva Las Vegas, obviously. Twilight, California. Danny, California. Okay. Right. Right. Or okay. Californication, whichever one you or want to call it. Californication or um, California knows how to party. Okay, yeah. Uh, California, uh, shoot. California Dreamin'. California Dreamin'. Yeah, okay. Such a lonely day. Stage seven's got a lot of tunes. Yeah, San Francisco. Sitting on, sitting on the dock of the bay. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, see, it's this is even better than trophies. Yeah. I challenge you, listeners. After you hear this episode, and we post about it, come up with your own right. songs that you have to sing for yourself while you play this game. Right. There you go. There you go. Boom. Goes the dynamite. All right. Okay. So, feedback. Uh, feedback. All right. So we got Facebook. Matt Daly starts us off with, "It's totally rad." Sorry, had to. Trevor Frank Franklin said, first racing game I owned, and I thought it was totally rad." Ah, Matt Daly beat me to it. It was cool. Paul Basquiglia says, wait a minute, isn't totally rad totally rad? I don't know. Find out when two dudes cover totally rad. <laughs> I would kind of did that in my commercial voice. You know? Mm-hmm. You know how like Bullwinkle used to end? Will they get out of this one? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah I remember. I like Bullwinkle. I watched it a lot. Jeremy Sharp. Uh, I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Wait, was that too much? I'm buying this after debating for a while. I actually love the first game. So this has to be twice as nice, right? Sure. Joe Copel says, pretty good little racer. Good uh, improvement over the first. So Joe's going with this one's better than the first. All right. I really, it's been so long since I played the first one that I cannot I feel like I can't pass judgment on yeah, whether this one's better, better than the first or not. I just cannot remember. Chris Vanderhoff says, never played it. First one isn't bad, though. Peter Guzman says, the name says it all. It's rad. And Greg Polander, our Patreon picker. Let's save him for last. Can okay. You, can you hold off? That's That would be good. That'd be good. I, I think he's probably got uh, some of the best feedback. Um, so I'm going to jump on Twitter here. I would like to give a shout out to at eight bit first, um, because he, not only did he, um, post a feedback of sorts, 
but he posted a picture of his cartridge saying that he was getting back in the swing of things, going for the Rad Racer 2 High Score Challenge. Uh, and sorry, I goofed on the whole fact that there's no high score challenge to be had, but thanks for the uh, tweet because it's that's nice. It's pretty sweet. Uh, and then also we had Baz says, I have never played the sequel and have no thoughts apart from the regret, the regret of not having played it. Uh, but Baz is in... He's across the pond, so I guess he didn't get it according to your history segment, right? Yeah. He didn't have the opportunity to play it. So, um, Paul and Andy also said on Twitter that this is one I think will be a hidden gem when Andy and I play it. I'm looking forward to hearing about it. And then he says, I feel like this is the sequel that no one asked for. It's probably a good game, but it was so forgettable. And then he also says, sorry, Greg. <laughs> sorry, dude, Greg. No offense. Yeah. Um, and shout out to Power Trip Gaming, at Power Trip Gaming. And they're on YouTube. they got a good show. We appreciate it. They're going to be joining us in next episode, maybe? Pretty soon. It's pretty soon. Sweet. Uh, all right. And then our good friend on uh, Google Plus. Ryan. Ryan. He had to say something. Let me pull him up here. He says, never played that one, so I'm looking forward to hearing about it. Thanks, Ryan. All right. Okay. So you ready for Greg's feedback? Yes. Well, real quick, uh, what do you call a California man? Okay, a Californian man has invented a robotic parking attendant. What's it called? I don't know. It's a silicon valet. Nice. That's the worst joke ever. Bad jokes. Remember, that's our new thing. Yeah, that's right. Bad jokes better than dad jokes. Bad jokes. That's are our new tagline. <laughs> yeah. Two dudes in an S. Bad jokes are better than dad jokes. <laughs> also, Genesis sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Greg Polander. His feedback says, it's a great game, but the main reason I picked this is because it's a totally obscure and underrated game. An even better racing game than the first one, which was also quite good. With extra tracks, day-night racing options, improved AI, great music, and some really amazing graphics for the NES. Any racing fans, even casual ones, will love this. And then he comes back to say, also of interest with this game... This was Square's second game for the NES they published themselves. Being a small company still at the time of Rad Racers 2's release in 1990, they had licensed their early games to Nintendo, Final Fantasy, Rad Racer, and 3D World Runner, just like Enix did with Dragon Warrior. The equally obscure, and in my opinion, in my honest opinion, not very good, King's Knight in 1989 was Square's first published game in north america all right thanks uh greg good feedback greg good pick and good feedback yeah all right i got a good voicemail. fat back <laughs> i do love me some fat back funny story <laughs> tangent uh, uh yeah we'll go ahead and go into this it, it's it'll be brief i think when i was okay. first dating my wife okay mm -hmm. um and you'll know this You'll you'll get a kick out of this more so than any of the listeners probably because you know my dad. But when I was first dating my wife, um, she and she was coming meeting my dad for like the first or second time, mm -hmm. and she mentioned how he he's he always talks about food right or he used to sure right uh, and she mentioned how she had had fat back for breakfast, uh, and he just he's just like he was in love he was just like okay son you got to marry this girl. Yeah, she 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 eats fat back. I was, I was thinking, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure, fat back. Yeah, nah, okay, awesome. Turns I love it. it. Turns out I did marry her. Yeah, it was sure. all about the fat back. I'm all about that fat back, baby. Yeah. Anyways, um, so you want to see? I've got voicemails and I've got the game to give away. Which one do you want to do first? Let's do some voicemails. Okay. Keep, keep them, keep them still lingering. Keep them in suspense, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, so Google Voice has just completely dropped. They uh, they signed me out, so we're not doing voicemails today. Okay. Mm, I just went on my phone and I've been signed out. So okay. Mm, yeah. Save those for next time. But we did have two calls, and I apologize to you listeners who called in, and uh, we're not doing the calls because they signed me out, and it would take time to sign in. So let's give the game away. What do you think? Sounds good. Pick it. Our very scientific way of picking the winner. Mm-hmm. It is very scientific. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, um, while I'm while I'm pulling up the list of names here to to uh, draw from, I just want to say that I hope that one day I die peacefully in my sleep, like my uh, grandfather did, uh, and not screaming and yelling like all the passengers in his car. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's great <laughs> <laughs> bad jokes baby that's a great joke actually <laughs> i didn't write it obviously yeah all right okay here we go and the winner is jeremy sharp there you go jeremy jeremy Shoot me a message on Facebook or an email uh, to at le- not at to letters at nesdudes dot com or any number of those things. Um, and give me your address and I will send it to you. And one of us will sign it if you want us to. If you want it clean, you can have it clean. It's very clean minus the eight dollar sticker on the back. You, yeah, leaving that right. Yeah, I, I'm not taking that off. You can, yeah. you can see. I'm going to leave it on there. Uh, and if you want me to just like sign around it, I'll do that too. There you go. There you go. So Jeremy, okay. hit us up and this card is yours. And you can ask Matt. We send them out really soon. I mean, you'll get it within like two years probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry to Matt Daly out there. Dude, Matt, we took about a year and a half to send him his winning heavy barrel cart. When did when did we do heavy barrel? That was like, I don't know, episode like, 40. Yeah, yeah, so it's been a long, long time. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's it, right? I don't have my outline. You would let me pull my outline up where all my trophies yeah. are that I came up with. I think that's about it. Okay. Well, then, um, here's the music for the next game. I think we're doing that again now that we've got a schedule, yep. right? And right. Uh, until next time, toodaloo. Bye-bye. All right. I think this is a good episode. We did tangents, but there wasn't a whole lot to talk about. Yeah, I think it was a good episode. I mean, we actually did talk about the game a lot. We just interspersed yeah. it with a ton of tangents. So uh, are, are we, we're doing an episode this weekend too, right? There's uh, one on the schedule. What's on the schedule? It's sun. It's uh, on Sunday evening. Let's see. Sunday night, right? Yeah, that's the one with um, with the Power Trip Gaming guys. Can you do Sunday night still? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Yeah, it's the one with the Power Trip Gaming guys. Guardian Legend. Yeah. Guardian that- Legend, which I've never played. Good. I've never played that game either. All right. Should be good. Okay. Um. I will try to get this uploaded within okay. the next couple of days because I think we're going to try to release it on the 8th. Yeah. And Maybe. then Sunday, um, before or after we record, if you don't care, let's record a couple of uh, intros to Retro Thought Pod episodes so, All I can, right. so I can post a couple more of them. I liked your comment, by the way, that uh, somebody said something about the... Retro Thought Pod episode that's Genesis versus Nintendo. Yeah. And <laughs> you said, I'm afraid of this <laughs> this episode might ruin our current podcast. <laughs> yeah. Because wasn't it you and me doing uh, Genesis against Dan? No. Else? You were on the Genesis side. I was on the Nintendo side. Me and Dan uh, okay. were Nintendo. And, it was and you. And Matthew, maybe. And Matthew were Sega. And John Wedgworth. Well, I mean, if you listen to the episode, it's basically just John Wedgworth. Yeah, that's true. He didn't really take control, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, 
you know, he would talk he would talk technical stuff for like ten minutes straight, and then one of us would be like, "Yeah, Sonic rules," or "Yeah, Mario's better than Sonic," <laughs> yeah. and then he would talk for another ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. That'll be okay though. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll just we'll just have to do a really funny intro to that one whenever we yeah yeah <laughs> whenever we pl- release that one. So yeah, okay. All right. All right, we'll catch you later. All right, man. See you. See you.